If you're watching the video at launch, we're live right now on Twitch.tv, playing through some games and enjoying our time. Make sure you jump on in. Links in the description and the pinned comment. I'll see you there. Okay, hold on. There's loads to go through today as Mr. Johan and Nicholas has gone through some cool new patch notes. They didn't think about their 60-day plan and it's managed to run on a weekend. So we've got some information as to when that new patch is actually going to be releasing. Although not today, we are seeing it very, very soon. We've got that to dive into as well as a major order update and some stuff coming from the Discord with the team talking about some things. This is going to be a very, very interesting one, and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. And check out our sponsor, Instant Gaming, the platform where you can buy your video games cheaper for PC and consoles with the best deals, offers, promotions, and discounts, all running up to 70% off. There's new game releases, pre-orders on there, and you can get it all a little bit cheaper. So it's a no-brainer. Head to the link in the description and get your games a little cheaper today. With that being said, let's see what it is that's happening inside of Helldivers 2. So, starting off, we have just had a post go up literally a matter of minutes ago with regards to the 60-day patch update. They weren't too sure how they've managed to mess this one up, but it's run on a weekend and the 60 days ends on a Saturday, which is a bit of an issue to say the least. So what is it that they're actually going to do? They don't like to patch on a weekend because that's when they have their most amount of players. They don't want to break the game while you're in your key phases of the game overall and they don't have much that they can do throughout the weekend to fix it. But they have given us some information that next Tuesday we are due to get the next big update and this is going to be a very interesting one they've given us some sneak peeks of the most exciting changes inside of the patch notes coming october 15th so we're going to take a look at exactly what they said right here they have introduced flak which is amazing now the flak is going to be on the auto cannon which is absolutely huge that we're going to be seeing that as far as what the numbers are we'll have to wait and see the recoilless rifle has also received programmable ammo and the scorcher has automatic fire this one is uh, probably the nicest one and i think that the changes are absolutely amazing but the stalwart has some changes but they didn't actually release what they were so that was an amazing teaser as they said that this could be the biggest change yet so we'll have to see exactly what it is that happens to that one as far as the functionality of the backpack you can recall and like let out the drone so you don't want to finish too fast and uh, Apparently, Johan knows all about that one. It's actually hilarious. But you can watch the full clip here for exactly what they say. 60 days, but we oh. didn't look at the calendar. What day is the 60 days? Like, it's on a Saturday. Yeah. And we don't patch during weekends because we don't want to break the game while you're playing the game. We have decided to release the 60 day patch on day 63. Uh, that's gonna be on a Tuesday. Even though it's uh, a weekend uh, between uh, here and the patch, we'll uh, leave you with some sneak peeks of our most exciting changes. We introduced Flak to the auto cannon. Uh, Recoilless rifle has also received programmable ammo. The Scorcher and it actually has automatic fire. One of the nicest changes here is the, uh, to the stalwart. With your backpack fun function, you can recall and like let out your drone, so you don't want to finish uh, too uh, fast. No, I, and I know all about that. <laughs> now this next patch should be absolutely huge, and because this is just a small amount, and we know full well that when the 15th comes, we're going to have a full video back with Johan and Nicholas going through everything that they have changed. I'm excited, but what's some of the biggest changes that you guys want to see inside of the game right now? Let me know in the comments section some of the weapons that you want to see changes on and what you might want to actually see happen to them. I'm really excited for this. I love it when they bring a patch forward, and they generally tend to do quite well. After the latest big patch, we've seen nothing but positivity, and hopefully they can keep that one running. But it does seem like they're leaning more into the buffs rather than the nerfs, which is definitely the most positive thing going. Obviously, they're not going to promote the nerfs straight off the bat, and it's likely that there will be a couple, as there was in the last one. But hopefully, the buffs are good enough to take and reign over the front of it. Now, moving into the overall for Helldivers on the internet, I want to know a question that is really, really deep. Coming from the SES, bringer of the stars, we want to know what the best ship name is. So let me know what your ship name is down in the comments. I think that this is really, really important and it could be something that you guys may end up wanting to look into. 
Let me know what you guys are thinking in the top light comment. Hopefully next video tomorrow will be the biggest SES known to man. You could be the most famous SES on the platform. Who knows? <laughs> we'll take a look. Anyway, moving forward, for those of you guys who like your art styles and the art concepts for the fan arts inside of Helldivers 2, you guys can now submit your Liberty Day art for the art competition. It's a big one. It's been going for a little while, but if you haven't heard about it, now is the time to go ahead and get it input in. As well as Roberts has been really, really busy on the Discord, lining everything out, and he has got a load of frequently asked questions common issues and fixes to go against them so there's troubleshooting links all over the discord now he's organized everything and kept it all in line and this is issues with connectivity crashes game guard errors playstation troubleshooting and so much more so make sure you check that out if you do have a problem then make sure you check out the discord before going anywhere and the community are getting a little bit tireless on what it is that we're having and how we're having it communicated now the problem is at the moment they're focusing solely on reddit and discord they don't focus it so much on the twitter and on the instagram and on everything else where people might be able to find out the information they focus solely on the discord and on the reddit probably the two most toxic platforms known to gaming wide and they are stating that they want to see it baked into the game itself i think that that makes so much more sense that there is sort of like a notice board that comes up when you start the game letting you know the latest changes letting you know the latest information and then you can click past it and go into the game if you so want or you can take a read through it. I think that that is a really, really easy thing to implement and notice boards that comes up every time you start the game. It's pretty damn important that players know what's happening, but apparently the Baskinator believes that is the case too, but it's not something that she's able to implement. They'd also like to still collect feedback from here and Reddit and socials and watch YouTube videos. So yeah, it's nice to know that they watch the videos. <laughs> Hi Arrowhead, big fan. <laughs> But I do think that that is something that we should see. It should be going into the game. It should be something that you guys see on a day-to-day -day basis when you log on. I don't think it's something that you have to go into the Reddit and have to freaking search for or go into the Discord and filter through all of the BS that goes on in there because they don't post everything up in announcements. A lot of things just make it into the HD2 general chats. And that is probably the most frustrating thing on the planet, mainly because you have to sift through it for ages. You have to search up certain people people to find out what certain people have said and find out how the information gets put across. Twinbeard will just put big information in replies to people. So knowing that is a really, really difficult feature. I'd love to have that sort of stuff hit the game. Let me know what your opinions are. And moving into your top comments, you guys had a lot to say in the last video and it was actually really, really interesting to have a read through it. We obviously have got some moves inside of the major order right now, which are hilariously large. We have got literally around four hours at the point of recording left on the major order and everything seems to be in good stead. We have got the uh, three defense missions from the automatons completed. We have also held Chlorel, which was the last defense operation that came up just yesterday. So it's looking like we are going to solidify this major order and move into the next phase of the DSS construction quite happily. With four hours remaining, I can't imagine that anything is going to happen at this point. Chlorel is exactly where it's at. So you guys can probably sit back and relax just a little bit before we move into the next phase of the major order going ahead, which is likely to come up maybe later tonight, ready for the weekend to roll in play. But your top comments right here, the first one states, remember you're the bot tanks treads can be disabled slash destroyed, keeping them in place. Those of you with AMRs, heavy machine guns, high piercing weapons, this one's for you. The scout striders can be destroyed by focusing focusing the legs and high power firearms, also known as the weak spot. Just have to remember to focus there or coordinate fire with the team because we were talking about how the scout striders are probably one of the most annoying automatons known to the freaking game and how they are worse off than the tanks. But if you guys want to target them, don't go for the biggest part of the body. Make sure that you hit the legs. Or if you really, really can't aim that deep, then make sure you just grab hold of like a scorcher or something and just hit it a few times with that it's really really easy and with it going into auto mode soon this is going to be so much fun next comment right here states me being a day one veteran of this game loves the 
direction that it's going. It had me come out of retirement and I might have to bring my brothers in arms out of their retirement as well to get our beloved space station. And I think that actually all soldiers should report for duty. Retirement is not an option for a Helldiver. So make sure you load on in and fight a little bit more for democracy. Next up, this comment right here states, I for one haven't forgotten about the black hole we so gloriously created. I park my super destroyer near it every time I end my time on Helldivers and I absolutely love that. I think that it's actually really important that we keep keeping looking at the Meridia placement. The black hole seems to be a little bit of a move which happened quite some time ago and maybe sliding underneath some people's radar. So maybe just end your Helldivers ship movement there so that you can actually see what's happening and as soon as something goes and happens to that black hole, you know, we are going to focus it here. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you're smashing that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Thanks again for watching. And if you're interested in Throne and Liberty, we've got a second channel now focusing primarily on that for now. If you want to go and check that out, the link's down in the description. We seem to be doing quite well, but we're aiming for that 1,000 mark on the subscriber count. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.